Our book teaches a method called Systematic Inventive Thinking, or SIT. For thousands of years, inventors, innovators, have used patterns in their inventions, usually without realizing it. And in doing so, those patterns are now embedded into the products and services you see around you every day, almost like the DNA of the product. What the SIT method does is it helps you extract those patterns and reapply them to the products and services and processes that you want to innovate. We have uh, described a method that by design puts configurations in your head that at first don't seem to make any sense. That's how the method works. It creates these unusual configurations that then you have to take and figure out the benefit that it delivers or the problem that it solves. And having taught this method many times at a university level, in a corporate setting, I can tell you that people at first feel uncomfortable and then they start to get used to it and that all of a sudden it clicks. Then they look forward to how the method guides them and channels their ideation process for them. One thing the book doesn't talk about, to be quite honest, is why innovation is important to your firm. The reason we don't talk about it is that companies know this. They know that if they don't innovate on a sustained basis, they're going to fall behind. They're going to lose their competitive edge and they're going to see themselves passed up by companies that figured it out. And so what we hope the method does is it gives people, gives companies the ability to generate a continued pipeline of breakthrough ideas that they can then execute and deliver into the marketplace.